Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Several years ago, I made this necklace, and I made it a long necklace, and I have worn it quite often as a layering piece. Now, I want to shorten this, so I'm going to show you how to shorten a necklace. This particular necklace does not have any type of a clasp on it. It was just an easy over the head for on and off. And I made it with some paper beads and some carnelian and some crystals. And I've just really loved wearing this. But like I said, I've been wanting to shorten it up. So what I'm gonna need is a ruler. I need a couple of jump rings. Now you need to make sure that the jump rings are going to fit into the holes of the chain. I had some other jump rings out, but they were too thick, so I had to go down a gauge. You'll need your clasp, and then you need uh, some cutters and some pliers to open up your jump rings and close them back up. So I want to make this about, let's see, probably a 17 inch necklace, maybe an 18 inch. So that's the first thing you need to do is decide how long you want your necklace. And then the other thing you need to decide is how big your clasp is. And usually what I like to do, let's see, is this, is this lobster gonna open here? Let me get another one because it is not opening. So I found one that opens and I'm going to go ahead and open it up and put the one jump ring on and then I'm going to put this one on this side and I'm going to measure how long this is going to be. They're, they usually run about an inch and it's going to be about three quarters of an inch. So when I measure this, I need to keep that in mind, three quarters of an inch. So you can do this one of two ways. You can cut your chain and then measure, or you can carefully undo it here. I think I'm gonna to try to carefully undo it here. And I only have to do one side. Like that. Okay. So then I need to measure. So basically, what I did is um, put, once I cut the chain, I put it back on there and then I held it up like this and found the center and made another cut. And then I just put the jump ring and the jump ring and the claw on there or clasp rather, <laughs> and this actually turned out perfectly. It's gonna be a great layering piece or a standalone piece. I think it was just a little too petite for a long necklace, but it winds up being, let's see, just right at 17 inches, which is perfect for me. Yes, this is a perfect length, just about 17 inches. Great for layering some other pieces. The reason I did it the way I did it, instead of going ahead and just cutting the, the center and um, doing it that way, making it from here, I wanted, I would have had two shorter pieces, and this way I wound up with one longer piece. And uh, so that's why I did it that way. These are going to go really well with these carnelian earrings that I made. So the next time you're like, man, I wish this necklace was just a little bit shorter, here is a way to shorten a necklace. I hope this helps you. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more jewelry tips. Mostly though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.